The limbic system is a complex system of cortical and subcortical structures that form a ring around the hilus of cerebral hemisphere. Limbus means ring. It is also known as limbic lobe. Earlier, it was actually called the rhinencephalon. In terms of evolutionary development, the limbic system is one of the oldest parts of the brain and it is related to the olfactory lobe. The limbic system is primarily related to emotional part of our life and is extensively concerned with memory. Now, let's look at the components of the limbic system. The structures of the limbic system are classified into four groups. Number one is the acrocortical structures. Number two is the pelocortical structures. Number three is the juxtalocortical structures. Number four is the subcortical structures. Now, the acrocortex forms the allocortex along with the pelocortex. The acrocortex is the phylogenetically older structure. It is concerned with memory. The acrocortical structures consist of the hippocampus and the dentate gyrus. The pelocortex is in between the acrocortex and the neocortex. It is usually concerned with olfaction. The pelocortical structures consist of the piriform cortex and the olfactory tubercle. The juxtalocortex or mesocortex is situated between pelocortex and neocortex. The juxtalocortical structures include the singular gyrus of the limbic cortex and the orbitoinsulotemporal cortex. Structures situated below the level of cortex are called subcortical structures. The subcortical structures are the amygdala complex, the septal nuclei, the thalamic nuclei, hypothalamic nuclei, caudate nucleus, and the reticular formation of the midbrain. Now, the connections of the limbic systems are complex. Usually, the phonics include fibers connecting the hippocampus and septal nuclei with the mammillary body. It also connects the hippocampus with the hypothalamic nuclei. The lateral hypothalamus receives afferent fibers from the hippocampus, the septal nuclei, the olfactory tubercle, the head of the caudate nucleus, the piriform area, and the periamygdaloid area. The caudate nucleus receives fibers from the cingulate gyrus and the intralaminal nuclei of the thalamus. The brainstem reticular formation receives fibers from the hippocampus and the cingulate gyrus. Also, we have the pepe circuit. The pepe circuit is the interconnections between various structures of the limbic system, which form a complex of closed circuits. Now, the hippocampus is connected to the mammillary bodies of the hypothalamus via the phonics. The mammillary bodies are connected to the anterior thalamic nucleus via the mammillothalamic tract. The anterior thalamic nucleus is projected into the singular gyrus through the medial thalamocortical fibers. The singular gyrus is in turn connected to the hippocampus. The pepper circuit plays an important role in memory encoding. Now, the functions of the limbic systems include number one, olfaction. The piriform cortex and the amygdala nucleus form the olfactory centers. In lower animals, the amygdala nucleus is concerned primarily with olfaction. Number two is that it is implicated in the regulation of endocrine glands. Now, the hypothalamus plays an important role in the regulation of endocrine system. Number three is the regulation of autonomic functions. The hypothalamus plays an important role in regulating the autonomic functions, such as the heart rate, the blood pressure, water balance, and body temperature. Number four is the regulation of food intake. Along with the amygdala complex, the feeding center and the satiety center present in the hypothalamus regulate food intake. Number five is the control of circadian rhythm. The hypothalamus plays an important role in the circadian fluctuation of various physiological activities. Number six is the regulation of sexual functions. The hypothalamus is responsible for maintaining sexual functions in both man and animal, role in emotional states. Emotional state of human beings is maintained by the hippocampus along with hypothalamus. 
Number eight is role in memory. Hippocampus and paper circuits plays an important role in memory. Role in motivation. The reward and punishment centers present in the hypothalamus and other structures of limbic system are responsible for motivation and the behavior pattern of human beings.